Welcome back to the RTF Podcast, where we refresh your feed so you don't have to. My name is Matt, his name is Matt, and this is episode 60. Matt, we are back for another week. We are back, we are chilling. Hell yes. Literally chilling, I meant. Literally chilling. No, very, uh, we are getting into the cold months. Yo, one thing I did want to talk about before we start. We're talking. We're already talking. We're, technically, yeah. we're already starting. But one thing I did want to mention was, it is like, I know it's the time of the year. Uh, do you know what day the winter solstice is? Uh, No. Isn't it the 25th? 21st, the sun, I where think. the sun flips over? Or start the days start beginning longer? Yes. So the sun flips over. What the fuck am I? <laughs> it's a, a, a sunny, sunny, sunny side of the egg. Yeah, there you go. That's how it works. <laughs> the fucking... Um, so the, the winter solstice is December 21st. Okay. And the days leading up to that, which is what we are in right now, mm-hmm. is like darkness. Yeah. It's like it's, 20... It feels like 24-hour darkness. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't get up at 7 a.m., it is twenty four hour darkness. It it gets real dark real fast, and oh it's my not God, it's man. not just like a like. There's also a point between because it's nothing is timed properly yet. There's a point where the street lights, it do, they don't come on yet, but yeah. it gets dark like immediately, and it's just like yeah. darkness. Like you know? yesterday was like five four forty five. It's like bro, like that's like the afternoon. That's not even the evening. We're yet. not even there yet. Like you know I, I mean? got I got a whole. A few hours, the next yeah, whole exactly. shift of work you no, can go do it in that seems time. Like, like, it seems like darkness, just infinite darkness. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's the time of the year. We are there. It's there. Thankfully. Yeah. Um, one, I had, a, I had a very special evening yesterday. Can you think you guess why? No, not that kind of special evening, but I did have a very special evening yesterday. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you. My brain is filled with thoughts that uh, you, can, you may or may not have done. So Was there a special I, lady in the... No, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, Zoe Saldana, if that's how you say her name. No, she's... Uh, I watched I watched Avatar yesterday. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it was... Um, how was it? I'm not going to... Listen, you know me. I, I know you. So, like, you for so, like sci-fi, time. like... Sci-fi is my 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 shit. Like you know, that, that, you know you know what it is. It's my, sci-fi is my shit. A flaming pile of garbage. No, it head. was it was so good. Really? It was so good. Okay, would you say it's like the greatest fucking movie Seagull? like ever? No, okay, not the greatest movie ever. Definitely up there. In, okay. th- that I've watched. Sorry, that did I've you, that I've watched. Did you know what it needed to do in order to break even? Not even make a it profit to break. to break even. The movie they spent so much money on this. It's two hundred fifty million. They spent so much money on this movie. Apparently, they needed to sell out. Um, they they needed to be a higher grossing film than Endgame, I believe. Um, like ticket wise, in order to break even. Apparently. No. Okay. So I think Don't you might be. Con- yeah, I think you might be confusing with with the entire series, like the 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 next films. So I think there was um there was, James Cameron said that he has to make a certain dollar value in order to. A, release the next movie, and B, continue writing for... Not writing, but continue to, like, the process towards the fifth film. Okay. Because there's five... There's going to be five Avatars. Oh, Currently right now. Yeah, so he's written up to five. (laughs) Not why, but, like... No, no, like... That's wild. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be watching Avatar when I'm 70. Literally. Well, hopefully... The the plan is, I think, to have them come out less... More frequent than 10, whatever year, 12 years, whatever it was. wild, dude. But uh, what was crazy was... I'm not going to spoil anything, but this is, like, all over, whatever. Like, the underwater motion capture. Yeah. I, I think I've talked to you about this before. Uh, may not have been me, but... Okay. Well, yeah. Completely lived up to my expectations. Okay. Completely. Okay. When I say that, it's... Okay. This is this is a little ambitious, but... And I, I'm going to wait till you watch the film, but... Yeah. I've... I'm, I'm, I hold the Godfather on a very high pedestal. Because I'm an Italian yeah. and things like that, right? Mm-hmm. I think that Avatar 2 was literally the best sequel since the second Godfather. Interesting. That's a bold the, claim. The, the best sequel. Okay, so the the way that I exclude, like, things I have to exclude from that is obviously, like, Marvel and Star Wars because they're not, like, you can't judge a sequel when there's, like, an entire series, like, when there's an entire, like, I mean, like six films, the seven Empire films. Strikes Back was labeled the best sequel of all time, so... Okay, if you want to call that, five. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but like now and at this point in time, it's like there's so many other films that build onto that yeah. and things like that. So it's like hard to tell. If I, if you take out Star Wars and Marvel, 
because Marvel's also like the storyline continues within other films and things like that. Films, TV shows, and other media. It's cool. Literally. Yeah. Um, but if you if you if you exclude those, I literally think that if you knock it down to maybe like five films, like a, mm-hmm. a, a series that's had only five films, like you're talking about like, like even more, but like Fast and Furious, how it sticks to Fast and Furious, right? It's not like Star Wars this, Star Wars that, Star Rogue One this, that, you know what I mean? Fast and Furious hasn't been a Fast and Furious movie it, since five or six what do you mean what are they called now they are yeah they are it's fast like and fast and furious, furious whatever like if you watch the films they're like what the fuck's going yeah, on yeah i know like, it's kind of like all over the place but um li- literally i think it is one of the best sequels yeah. like it has to be I, I so in terms of sequels i have a little segue here um this just popped into my head so maybe you had it on your list there but henry cavill i never watched superman it. oh okay the news what yeah the fu- fuckers yeah that's I all know. i gotta say so unfortunate. They they fished him into Black Adam, right? Yeah. Because apparently he appeared at the end or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't watch it. I still watched Black Adam. Sorry, I spoiled that, I guess. No, it's fine. It was supposed to be this, like, Black Adam versus Superman type thing. Yeah. And he appeared in the movie. Um, like, Henry Cavill appeared in the movie. And then he left the Witcher... Um, the, the Witcher's production because he didn't like the the writers. Apparently, they didn't like the source material, and, and he's a giant nerd, and so he's like loving the giant, huh? Giant? No, it's not a giant. giant. He's, he's <laughs> loving like he likes he loves the Witcher's content, like yeah. the games and the books and all that kind of stuff. They apparently didn't agree with it, so they're just writing, and he's like, "Yo, fuck this." Anyway, long story short, then they announced um, the new generation of of the DC universe, and they cut him. So he's no longer Superman anymore. Oh shit! Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. No, I didn't read that. I didn't yeah, read so fully. He's no longer Superman anymore. He's Get not fucked. coming back. He released the statement. I saw it on thing, and now apparently we got The Rock unfollowing everything that Black Adam. Because remember how he was pushing it really hard? Yeah, on yeah. Socials. He's like unfollowed the accounts and all this. Holy kind of shit! Stuff. I didn't yeah, even read like, about that. There's the DC universe is in shambles. Yeah, like, I didn't even read about it's that. Wild. Like, it's no, that's know. crazy. What well, you think? Well, maybe. Marvel is like got, has that sort of shit on lock. Like that shit can't happen. I mean, I feel like I feel like it would potentially have happened in the past, but I don't know. Like the amount of things they're releasing and how hard people are working and like the quality lately. Yeah, the quality is outstanding. Which is not the best it's ever been. Um, but that's just the amount of work that they're producing. It's it is what it is. Yeah. Like I don't know. They feel. I think they're feeling a little more indestructible than they should be personally yeah but they but, are they, like fan base wise they're fucking they're indestructible oh, yeah. but i like moving back into avatar a little bit i watched it in screen x okay i've ever described that i've ever, no, I have I've ever described seen that there's so many different things so like listen i'm all for it i'm my my upbringing and like my schooling so far my post-secondary schooling no not my post-secondary my post-secondary post-secondary yeah. is like fucking yeah like, secondary school is secondary is high school yeah yeah i'm chilling my post secondary has been like, um, really involved with immersive video and 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 audio and spatial audio and things like that. This was just like, I I don't know how to put it. It was like such a disappointment, Screen X, because like, if it would was just there the whole movie, so like, to put into to to give you an understanding. Yeah. There's the big screen in front of you. Okay. There's the screen on the left wall and the right wall. How big are the screens? The whole wall. You've been to a movie oh, theater. The yeah, whole wall. Like the, like okay, so both it's, whole walls. Oh, okay. It's like the entire wall on the right, the yeah. entire wall on the left. It's and not the, a and screen. The, is it lights or is it a screen? It's a screen. Like, uh, it's it's a projector on a wall. Yeah, I got you. Like, I it's you. what it is, basically. Um, so, the, the main the main uh, thing, and I know it's probably still in, like, the, its evolution and, like, its beginning, but the main screen is, like the best best Obvious, quality yeah. it's like the regular it's like a regular yeah. movie like amazing quality amazing sounds like looks perfect everything looks amazing but the sides and i don't know i have to do much i really after being in there i want to do a lot more research on how it's like produced and like it's made and like how it's actually captured but the sides like the sidewalls that need to be immersive are sort of like it's it's video that's like it's almost computer generated that like they just kind of just threw on there to make it look okay like some of the things were off like because it, there's this there's the gap right there's yeah. the gap in the middle and like if it, for example in, there was like a fish fin the first thing that pops in my mind there was like a fish like tail fin whatever you want to call it and like on this screen it was like here and on the other one it was like up here 
oh, that already funny. like not like noticeable. Yeah. I was like really looking at it. If you're not like the way you're supposed to really approach that type of that that screen X is vibe, it from peripheral vision. Yeah, is yeah. it you're just supposed to look in the middle. You're not supposed to look at the sides. The sides are just like they enhance some of the scenes, yeah. which which got me really upset because I was like, why wouldn't you enhance the entire film like that? Yeah, it's weird. It's why they and I I think that's it's still part of it. Like it's beginning stages, but like why wouldn't the entire film be on all three screens? Okay, here's a here's a semi professional or a professional opinion. It's more professional than me anyway. Do you think you know those you know the Philip uh, TV lights you put in the back of your TV? Yeah, right. And they create the lights yeah. and everything, and they adjust to what you're watching. Seeing. So, would you think that would be a better alternative? No. No, no, this was actual images. These no, were images. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. So no, images, I don't think that's a better alternative. It's, it's, they're poor resolution images, obviously, because of what they are. They're meant to be looked at via your peripheral vision. Um, yes, they will enhance some scenes. Like, what I picture in my brain is, like, Iron Man flies by type of thing in the sky, and you can see him do this. Like, from that side of the screen to this side to the now, like, onto the middle screen. And you can see it more, right? But I feel like it would give you... A more realistic so, peripheral so this is the way you yeah like so if it's more just rather lights rather than things to focus on yes okay you know? so this is what this is how this is how i answer that the like the sides the side screens yeah when there was no objects on them when they were just solid colors or just solid like backdrops like if it was just water mm -hmm. or just like forestry or something were like they did the job it looked amazing yeah like amazing whether it was just flowers or forestry or whatever it was when there was actual like subjects fish people whatever you want your eye draw is drawn to subjects yeah you, you you're drawn to unless obviously like they're focusing on like a certain type of plant or a certain area of the water whatever yeah. but like generally you're focused on subjects rather than f like greenery and things in the background art department things like that so when there was things like that, it was shit because you were looking at the people and they were, they were like shit. Like they look like shit because they're out of focus. They're yeah. low res. Like when you'll see, you'll see someone obviously, but when there's like someone swimming in the middle screen, it mm -hmm. looks amazing. Or like, I'll give you an example. There's like, they're hooking onto these, they're like attached to like these, uh, these, uh, sea animals. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. yeah two, yeah. two something. Sure. I forgot what they're called. They're holding onto them and look, the scene looks amazing. The things lit up. Like there's like. All this like detail in the actual avatar and the and the sea creature like it looked perfect, looked amazing, and when the sides were like matching the water, it was like euphoric, like it was amazing. Yeah, like it was just water, water, the two the sea creature and the avatar, and it looked fuck, it looked so good. So would you say that it's better as a background? Yeah, like like it, dummy it, image rather than a, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It can unless it's gonna be full res, and there's no gaps. Yeah. You can't have, I feel like it's extremely difficult to have a subject on that screen. I also feel like if you're not sitting smack in the middle of the theater, it's... Yeah, shit, it's yeah, terrible. It's the awful. worst. Yeah, I sat right in the middle. That's yeah. why I had to. I was like, I'm not sitting on the side. Then I'm like right here with this one yeah, screen and then the other one. No, I had to. I had to sit right in the middle. But uh, overall, I would say, like, IMBD gave it, I believe, a 7.9. No, sorry. Avatar 2 gave it 8.2. And Ron Tomatoes gave it a 78. Interesting. But... The first film, the Avatar first film, was a 7.8 on IMBD mm -hmm. and an 82 on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm. Right? So it was like, it's like flipped. And you don't know what you don't know what to expect. I thought it was great. I thought like the addition to like family and like whatever, the, there's kids in the fucking, yeah, yeah. In, the, in the trailer. But like all that shit looked amazing. Looked, um, it was so good. It was so like storytelling wise, it was great. And like. There's even a nod to the Titanic in it. Mm. Like, that's what, like, after a while, it's like, this is ridiculous. How is this even done? And the visuals were out of this actual world. Like, so good. Like, the hair underwater and things like that. It was amazing. But, the, uh, um, in terms of the, 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 I gotta go, I gotta go see it. Um, you yeah, didn't have, like, glasses are on? Or no anything? 3D. The worst. You, oh, you 3D? suffered the entire, yeah, your entire life. Yeah, you're six eyes. I'm sitting over there. I'm in the fucking, oh, let me put my regular glass seeing glasses on. And let me put my double seeing glasses <laughs> yeah. on. 
so I can see this bullshit. Yeah, I know. Like, fuck. No, 3D shit. That's the worst. Although, like, it, it, at the time when, when the first Avatar came out, it was, like, revolutionary. Yeah, like... The 3D was like, oh, my God, 3D, what's going on to watch the 3D? Now it's kind of, like, overrated. I feel like maybe it's just my, my brain or, like, the thing that I'm remembering. Because you always remember things that are better than what they actually are. It's like, oh, look at that. Remember the old Super Mario game on the SNES? Yeah. It's so great. And then you go look at it and you're like, what am I... This is shit. Anyway, like, I, I remember 3D being, like, super, like... They exaggerated the shit out of it and, like, all that kind of stuff. And now it's just, like, you just need to see the movie. Like, yeah. they don't really do anything. Yeah. And the movie is just blurry if you don't wear the glasses. And it's like, okay. Like, yeah. this is... A little segue, actually, they mentioned Mario. I watched the... Not extended. I think it's, like, the altered version of the trailer. In a uh, different language or... No, no, no. no in, in English. Oh, I think from the like, one I think that was, was released the one that recently? We, yeah. From gotcha. the one that was released before yeah, to the okay. one now. Gotcha. I, yeah. Significant improvement. I have to say, in the voice, significant improvement. His voice still does bother me. I know, but you have to say there was bit, there's bit because he's definitely heard the criticism and he's yeah. like, and it's definitely changed. And, but I feel like things need to continue to evolve. But overall, the movie looks very interesting. Yeah, it looks great. I probably will go see it. it looks great. I also feel like there's a, it needs to be a good. Um, combination of the two so people are thinking like oh why do they give mario a voice why don't they just make the voice actor so charles Mar charles martinet the original voice actor of mario luigi and a whole whack of other mario characters um why couldn't they just make him and why would you want to listen to to sounds for two hours yeah right so that's one criticism then you have an actual voice and i agree with the voice and you know he's uh, supposed to be an italian plumber but he's not really supposed to sound like the well luigi doesn't sound that great either to be completely honest i feel like there should have been um both there should be charles martinet's sound effects of jumping and the yeah. know, wahoo the whatever that kind of stuff intertwined with with um, thing I like, feel like it wouldn't sound natural at all, though. He, they would need to work together in that way. They would need to see if it would work. Have I to, feel like, yeah, I feel like a lot of editing would be taking place. Yeah, I feel like in some scenes, it would just be Charles Martinet just going at it. Yeah. Like when they're running and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then it would just only be... Yeah, but uh, then you know yeah, I mean? scenes with like sound effects and then dialogue would literally sound like... It'd be like, oh, Peach, where are you going? Wah, wah. Like it would sound so different. It'd be like, it'd be like, hey Peach, where are you going? Wah -wah, wah -wah, wah -wah. <laughs> like it would sound like oh, so shit, and then just yeah. amazing. It like would I'm need like, to like, you need to find that balance. I think. Yeah. I don't know. They gotta do something. I'm a. I'm probably gonna go see it just cause like whatever. I'm a sucker for it. No, 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 no yeah. If there's um, if there was one Super Mario Bros. character you'd want to be, who would it be? I gotta get so much flat, dude. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to answer your question with another question, okay? When you're playing Mario Kart, Mario Golf, Mario anything, those games that have combinations, except for like Smash Brothers because there's so many of them, who's your character? Mine? Who do you pick? Yeah. Um, who's your Mario Kart character? Baby Luigi. Oh. I pick <laughs> Mario. No. Why no. I pick Mario? So generic. You're so I know. So, that's, I, that's so, what I'm that's so shit. I just want to, but I, he's my boy, you know. Like I know, but I've always just picked Mario. No, mine's Baby Luigi. I, I, th I just, I know Mario Kart. I feel I, I'm always trying to get that extra advantage, and I feel like Baby Luigi is just lighter. He's just light. I mean, listen, there are there are also times where like I've picked Yoshi, I've done this, I've picked Luigi for a while. I just default back to Mario, and it just works, you know. I don't know. I, I get don't know it. Why? I get it's, it. I get it. It's my comfort. It's yeah. my comfort. So you're gonna say Mario? I, dude. I listen, there's yeah, why not? Or Bowser would be cool too. Yeah, I feel like that's too. I was just about to say, if, this, sick. if there's anyone I had to choose, it would be Bowser. Not saying that, come on. No, you're not gonna kidnap no princesses here. Yeah, but like I feel like it'd be you know, it'd be a good time. I think, I think personally, I'd be um, oh my god, it's a toss up. I feel like, like m my personality is very much of uh. Well, Donkey Kong. Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm kidding, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know. I'm trying to think. There, there's a couple. So, what's the guy on the cloud? Oh, um, fuck. I, I, hold on. I gotta Google it. So what's his name? Lollapalooza? No, not Lollapalooza. <laughs> what the fuck is his I gotta, name? I just want to know the pronunciation before I say it, and I get demolished in the comments. So. I, I personally think like something that I would, I would be interested in is because I like the evil side, but like not necessarily. I'm a good guy, but like I like the evil side. It's Koopa Troopa. I'd be Koopa Troopa. You'd be okay. Okay. I don't move really quick, bah, but I'm. Bah, I'm, I'm <laughs> 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 exactly.
exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> What's the song go? How does the song go? Fuck, I forgot it. Exactly like that. Just... No, it's like bam, bam. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Koopa Holy Troopa. Fuck. I do Koopa Troopa. I think just because I'm a little evil. Maybe it's just. A... <laughs> There's a video. There's a video I saw on. Um, this is this is a whole different take here. There's a video I saw essentially where it's like Mario is a uh, he's a war criminal. Oh my Mario's god. Mario's a war criminal because if you take a look at Mario Brothers, the Koopa Troopas don't act like troops. They act like civilians, oh. and they don't attack you if you don't attack them. Like, the Goombas will run at you because they're a bunch of a-holes. Yeah. They stomp on their heads. It is what it is. It's war. But the they just walk, and they do the ba 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 <laughs> and then whatever. Yeah, they don't actually attack you. They don't you. do anything, right? Yeah, but they and hurt the, you. And then the red, yeah, they hurt you. You bump into them. It's like, okay. And then the red ones just walk back and forth, hitting with the one and two again. But they don't do anything. No, the red ones, don't they throw shit at you? No, those are the hammer bros. They're different. Oh, yeah. So what I'm saying is you're killing civilians. Which, in terms of, which, I guess, <laughs> he's a yeah. war criminal. Yeah, so Mario's a war criminal. Yeah, that's, that's what this episode is gonna be called. Mario's a war episode sixteen. That's Mario's fuck. a war criminal. No, that's uh, honestly no. Like I think, like I don't know. Did you get the name of the guy? No, couldn't find. On the, the cloud guy. Oh, uh, Lakitu. Lakitu. Yeah, that, that guy's yeah. cool. That guy's cool. But he's a, he's a villain right, too. That's how you say it. I hope. Lakitu. Ah, fucking. Something. Whatever. Something well, like it that. is what it is. No, that's dope though. I uh, well, I'm excited for the film. The the actual Koopa Troopas in the film are, are like troops. Like they like yeah, uh, yeah, straight yeah. lines and shit. And they, no, I know. You know what I mean, like uh, that's sick. It's always been like that where they are like, they're a little fearful of like blah blah whatever. But it's it's yeah. good. Yeah. Have we talked about on the podcast, the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer? I don't no. think we have. No. No right. Okay, so have you watched it? I have. I did okay, see the trailer. Okay, dope. Yes. Awesome. Uh so, you saw, obviously, a couple things I want to talk about. The fucking Power Rangers. Okay, so or hold on fucking, a second. Hold on a second. What are they, the Wiggles? Okay. Remember hold, the Wiggles? Hold on a second. Four colors? Okay, you, know what? Uh, you know what, Matt? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you keep guessing. What do you mean? I'm Until not going to guess shit. Until you get it. Think about it. Think about what you saw. So the, the colors? Yeah. I'll, I'll let you. Uh, okay, I'll give you a hint. Among Us. Among no, Us. No, they're not. Yes, they're, really? it's, they're not Among Us, but like, it, us. it's a nod to Among That's Us. That's funny. Yeah. That's hilarious. Good, right? It's sus as fuck. That is sus. I don't I think there's a red one. Oh, yeah, there is. There is a red there one. Is. I think, I think Stella is. That's right. funny. I didn't That's even good, get right? that. I literally, it's like, oh, the fucking. The what? Wiggles? Yeah. <laughs> no, there, there's a couple, there's a couple good things about that. Number one, okay, first, after seeing that, you said that the otter. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if otter. she's an otter. But that's like. I think it's an otter. That's like, that's like, um. What's his name? Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, Rocket's Rocket's girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Rocket's girlfriend. That apparently she was in the, the she was created by the same guy and that mm-hmm. and the guys and there's a lot to deep dive into that thing but. And Gamora. Gamora as well. The twenty insert year uh, what, here. Gamora. Yeah. Not the not the dead one. No, not that the one. Obviously one. the one before that. I yeah. Kicked him in the balls because he's like, what the fuck is this? Exactly. Anyway, yeah. Um, but one thing that is interesting that everyone's saying is that Rocket is gonna die and a lot of the things in that. And that trailer suggests that, right? A lot of the yeah. things suggest that he's going to die. It's about his, like, origin story, who created him, getting back at the guy who created him, and things like that. And, and the guy that alters the the creatures to be, and he's, like, s- synthetically created, things like that. But I mean, I hope not, to be honest. Like I, I think, personally, that, like, it's too simple for them to just kill off Rocket. Yeah, they would need to like kill he, a couple of them, though. Yeah, like... Either a couple of them are gonna die, or like this rocket death is like so already told. Like it's like I know what's gonna happen already. I think yeah. it's too give. It's already too given to like actually happen in the, in the film. But I'm like, super excited for it in the summer of next year. You know what? I'm I'm that did. Uh, yeah, it did looks hype. good. It's hyped. Yeah, and the, and the music looks good as well. Yeah, it was their good. new ship, the music thing. Drax always, looks good. To be honest, I've always liked the the Guardians movies. I've I, they're they're my favorite. It's like Thor and then like Guardians. Yeah. That's like one of my favorite. And Groot is jacked now. Yeah, he's massive. Groot is jacked. He's ripped. By the time I go watch the movie, I expect to be that jacked. I don't think I don't think we'll ever be that jacked. He's absolutely yoked. He's got a gazillion arms, and that's the first time I think we ever hear him say anything besides "I am Groot." I didn't even notice. He I says we. Watching. He says we are Groot. Mm, yeah, it's okay. the first time he says anything else, which okay. is it's pretty crazy. Yeah, I saw one. Well, I think I'm obviously more excited for Ant Man. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked Intr- about that yeah. uh, a last while back. week or two weeks ago. Yeah. Or, yeah. Obviously more excited for Ant-Man, the introduction of, introduction of Kang, which is like the new big bad. We're all going crazy with that, but um, I do think it's going to... It's gonna do some big numbers. Guardians. I like I like experiencing Marvel from the blissful ignorance that I do. That's why I don't want to like go and you know like I, you know like, you know what's going on. Yeah, and I can see the appeal of that, and I, I I get that with other like series and stuff. But going into this with blissful ignorance is just fantastic. Yeah, you're just a viewer. Yeah, the emotion and like whatever. Like for example, I have this core memory, and I'm never gonna forget it. Of like. I grew up with grew up. I grew with the characters watching these characters in Endgame, in, you know, or whatever. And then like, Cat picked up the hammer, and then every fucking person around me just lost their mind. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I also like lost it because I have that like connection via the movies only. Yeah. But then like, I look over at my buddy. He's just fucking like Tweet. basically crying. And yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I cried. Uh, are you? Are you? Uh, do you cry during films? Only with dogs. <laughs> if there's a dog, if there's a dog and that so dog Mar- is dying, Marley, Marley and me is not a good that one for movie you. will take me out. Like I, I, there's no coming back. <laughs> yeah, it's a rough one. No coming back. From that's that. a, yeah, dogs are a rough one. It's wild. It's oh, I, 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 I used to cry when there was that Sarah McLaughlin uh, feed the dogs uh, commercial. commercial. Oh my god! Channel, oh just... my god! That one was a pure tearjerker. It's... That one was like I really would sit there and I would just be like, "My god, I'm so sad." You have to go find your dog. After. Yeah, and then you just you, have you to just like... sit there. You're just like, "What the?" Ugh. No, it's bad, man. But do you cry during like actual films? Besides that, no. no. Just literally, if a dog dies, that's it. No, the man. The entire planet will explode. What was the movie with Will Smith? Um, he's like fighting off. He has a dog in the movie. He's like fighting off like zombies. Oh, I'm Legend. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. bro. Fucking. That's a sad one. Does the dog die? I don't no. remember. I don't, I don't think remember. It does. But it was. I don't remember if I, it's been how long has been. I think that movie came out in two thousand nine. Oh my god. I, anyway, I could listen, be wrong. Listen, in that scenario, the entire planet fucking exploded. If that dog died. See yeah. Later. See you later. See you later. I don't remember it. So that's it was fine. Two thousand seven. Oh. Two thousand seven. Wow. Oh. That's a while ago. I, you were, I was like six years old. Do you remember? Seven years I'm gonna, old. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring back. I'm gonna hit you with it. A throwback. Do you remember when you were playing, and I would join you guys, but like the main. Remember, you remember Fortnite? Oh my god. But like god. the main base, right? Yeah, like it was season like, three. Yeah, yeah. Season two. Five years ago, where the fuck has time? Really? Oh. I thought it was more than that. But like you know what I'm saying, it was at least five years at this point, and it's just like. No, do you know what it actually was? I think it was more than that. I don't. It was. Listen, when we had the squad on, like, it's it's wild, dude. It's wild. It's where the hell is the time going? I think uh, it was released in 2017. So yeah, five years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was season it was one. Year, it yeah. was about a year or so after I got hired at Thing. Right? Yeah. Or maybe a year and a half. Bro, give or take. Fortnite, and then you we were playing and like whatever. I, I don't know how it's like lived this long. I, uh, like have kids. You seen it? Yeah, it looks oh, crazy. I saw the wild. season whatever yeah. chapters or whatever Mr. release. Mr. Beast is in it. Yeah. He's giving away a million dollars. Like. Yeah, I don't know. That's like a completely different like realm yeah, of like, not nerd, but like I realm mean, of like, like YouTube slash Fortnite slash Twitch. Like different realm of like life like yeah, just, like like what even exists upon that point to be honest no, kids 20, on tiktok playing 20, fortnite and 27 2017 me would have been like oh, i know what's kind of going on over there right if it was yeah, no. like whatever no i got no i idea. got no fucking i think idea. it's just part of growing up yeah that's it's sad reality well the, well teenagers don't play that game anymore no they do not well not not most i feel like the demographic is like like, well, I have friends that I know that play, but not like a lot of them, right? I think I feel like it's more kids to like adolescents, yep. like th- maybe fifteen. Yeah, give or take. I I wouldn't say an eighteen, nineteen year olds are playing that anymore. But did you play? This is a super off topic, but did you play the new Warzone, like Warzone two point or whatever? No. Okay, I was playing it yesterday. It was with uh, shout out Andy. Okay, mm-hmm. Andy. For, he used to be on the podcast. Yeah, remember that guy? And he said something. And it really hit me. It really hit the feelings home. Okay. He goes, like, we ended up dead as per the usual. And he goes, oh, I'm the old guy. I work all day. I log on once a week. And I just get shit on by kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And it's just like, fuck. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's that, time of, it's that time of life. Oh. It's uh, getting the the older age. Huh? They have no idea. They have no idea. Do you idea think you're going to play video games your whole, your whole life? 
Um, it depends on the, like the probably like the Nintendo like I hope like you know, with the kids like the Mario's and that kind yeah. of stuff like probably like that. Um, yeah, that's ideal. I feel yeah. like that's for me is ideal. Like, like but, I don't know, n- not necessarily like play, but like dabble. Yeah, yeah. I have a dabble. There's yeah. one game I I, I never want to ever be shit at in my life. Is FIFA? <laughs> I knew you were gonna say FIFA. How did you know that? I just, I just, I just can't. I what? No stage of my life, I cannot be shit in FIFA. I cannot. It's just, it's just so embarrassing. The number of hours that I've put into that game to say that I'm shit at one point is just embarrassing. It's a lifelong embarrassment. Yep. Um, changing the topic. Okay. I wanted to talk about quickly. Have you seen? We're gonna actually do like a pre-watch review right now and then after we're gonna, we'll dabble a little bit and we'll see what we think about it uh, next week mm-hmm. uh the tv show wednesday gotcha uh with uh wednesday adams mm-hmm. aka jenna ortega a- aka the w- one of the sweetest women on the planet <laughs> okay answer my question <laughs> like i think okay. she's i think she's s- significantly good looking first of all Outside of the way she looks in, in, in the show. Mm-hmm. Even in the show. Like, I, honestly, whatever. Both work. But um, I, I so far, I like the show. Like, I've watched, like, trailers and things. I, I, I like the idea. I think it's cool. Have you ever watched Adam's Family ever? Like, any I of that have, stuff? I have way, way, way back. Yeah, like, right? 20, 20 years ago. Yeah. Like, it's it's, it's years. just, like, weird and shit. I remember just the hand yeah, and all that right? stuff, right? It's just weird. So, I'm interested to see what they do. And, like, I think she's at, like, school. Yeah, takes they're a lot at school. T- he, he's like he, the brothers like getting bullied or something. Yeah, right. It's like takes a takes a a lot of time. Like takes place a lot of at her school, which is interesting. But like a lot of like girls like it, so I feel like it has that like Riverdale type vibe. I don't know. We'll see. Am I, is, that, is that right? Riverdale. To yeah, honest, Riverdale. What's it on? Netflix. Netflix. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, but aside from that, we'll uh, give it a go. We'll give it a gander, and then we'll uh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to also talk about really quickly. Well, that was like our pre-review. Well, this will be out. This episode will be out. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my God. I'm tweaking. I'm just having brain fart. This episode Sorry. will be out as the World Cup final yes. is being played. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, the, the um, as of today, the World Cup final will be on at 10 a.m. Um, Argentina and France. Who do you got right now? France. I have to take Argentina. Blessed. It works out. I have... Very, very, very limited knowledge about what's I get going that. on. I get I have that. not followed it realistically that much. I've like taken little snippets here and there. Other than that, it is what it is. But I'm I think France will take I it. Think, I think you're a dick for that. Do I want France to take it? Absolutely the fuck not. There you go. To be honest with you. Um It's time for Messi to win, bro. Be but right. I would not to like... get too into sports because we're right here we talk about film uh, film and TV. But Messi is gonna win his first World Cup today. By the time this comes out, you'll you'll already be celebrating. By the time this comes out, um, I'm all in on France. Uh, France. I'm all in on Argentina. Yeah. Sports betting, goals against. Uh, this guy's dialed in. I'm I'm dialed in. I'm all for Argentina. I'm all for Messi. Also, okay. Now we got a little segue here. Don't don't uh, don't move too quick. We got a segue. Have you seen the video of that little girl? That Mar- that crying, Moroc- the crying the Moroccan one about I, Cristiano I Ronaldo. Like a, I saw videos of it. I didn't see the actual video. You saw the video of her though. No, I didn't see it. I literally okay. saw like videos of the video and like there's screenshots from that video and she's like crying. Oh, so you didn't see the video? No, I didn't see the actual video. Okay, so this is what basically along the lines. I'm not gonna play it, but she's crying and whatever. No, no, the Moroccan girl. Yeah. The one that's making fun of Ronaldo. Oh, that one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Sorry. You didn't see that one? one. Okay, it's a different one. So she's she got a lot of backlash because Mm -hmm. she was uh, after Morocco beat Portugal, she went in the there was like an interview or whatever like a newscast that was like oh celebrating for the Morocco fans, and she was like being interviewed and she was like oh I bet he's crying in his car right now. She's like poor Ronaldo and she like makes like a like a face right like and she became like everyone was saying they hate her. All Wait online. A was this? I think I got. I think you've got, definitely like, the seen wind it. Of it. They like bullied the fuck out of bull her leader. on TikTok, right? Or bull something. leader, like oh, straight yeah, bull she... leader. Like she because she's not sure about Ronaldo. Like bullied her. She's like, oh, he's probably crying in his car because her face is like very like. 
I don't know how to put it. You it's like, punch the, punch yeah, it. like it's punchable. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's just so punchable. We do not condone abuse here, especially against children. However, no, I guarantee you that there's there's diehard Ronaldo fans that, oh, that they would have they would have yeah, hit her for sure. They would have killed her. They would have hit her 100. percent Especially like Portuguese after the game. If anyone would have saw that, would've, she would have been hit for sure. Even if she was a kid, no one would care. But uh, she got a lot of backlash, so much so that her mom came on and released like a statement saying, I apologize for my daughter. She didn't know she's only six or nine. She's six or one of those. And she like didn't, she's only repeating what she heard around the people be- beside her. And yeah, which I do agree with. I agree with that. Look, when you're at professional level, okay, the fans, they only to relax. I get the yeah. banter. I get it. And like whatever. Well, people die because of it. Bro. But don't fucking bully the kid. Come on. Like- no, no, honestly, I think that like, the reporter himself is like, is kind of like whether it was like Moroccan news. I don't know what, what was it news out. Yeah, no, I don't know. I if don't. It was pre recorded and they I put that I don't on remember. the air. That's it could have been cool. live. It, odds are it was probably live because it was like one of those like street news yeah, views, I whatever. Guess, yeah. Right. So, but still, it's like I think it's just the way she said it. Yeah. And like it's, it's because it was her and like the and she was like everyone was saying like oh number most hated girl ever. I, and like shit like that, and it was it got it got really out of hand. But like soccer, I guess just like sports fans and shit, they don't they don't care. They just no, rip into they, you, they especially just, on TikTok. They're yeah. like just fucking rip into you. The, you fuck who you are, right? But um, but yeah, it was yeah, super I didn't interesting. Yeah, I catch wind watch. of that. They like I caught wind of again. It was another video. It was like you guys really bullied a six year old girl on TikTok. Yeah, it was or something. bad, man. I'm like, what the fuck? And just it was real bad. No, but it was interesting. I I feel sad for thing for Ronaldo. Obviously, it's. Probably his last, but Messi's going to take it today. He'll, he'll already have won it. Listen, I'm going to be honest. If France wins, it's going to be like, ah, fuck. Like, I called it, but, like, fuck, you know? Yeah. I don't want them to win. I don't. But. No, it is what it is. You know, it's going to happen. But uh, I think that we're going to end there for today. Yeah, we're going to end it there. Awesome. We're going to get so many French fans. Just. Probably none. <laughs> French Probably. Canadians, maybe? Yeah, they're going to be like, French Canadians. what the fuck? But, uh, yeah, thank you for coming on the podcast again. Appreciate it. Here you have um, yep. Stay tuned next week for our Christmas special. Christmas special. Christmas special next week. We're looking nice forward and, to it. Nice and jolly I will here. be. Uh, I'm going to be wearing something funny, so will Matt. Perfect. <laughs> Blessed. Um, keep up to date with our reels, TikToks, and uh, YouTube shorts. If you're listening to the podcast, check out the podcast on YouTube in full video. But also thank you for listening. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you thought about this episode, uh, and future episodes and our reels and things like that, our polls that we release often. Um, and that was it for episode 60. Matt, thank you. Thank you. And we refresh your feed so you don't have to. Cheers, mate. You said it for me. I refresh this feed.